Good morning everyone and welcome to my channel English Literature. Today we are going to talk about one of the university wits who has no university degree. Who? Thomas Kitts. In this short video we will take a look on the life and major works of Thomas Kitts. Okay. One of the university from 1558 to 1594. He is born in London, 1558, November. Son of Francis Kate, a prosperous notary, clerk. Early education at Martin Taylor School. And here he met Edmund Spencer, was the fellow student. He left school and worked as an apprentice, scrivener, scrivener also means clerk or notary for some time. 1580, his name appeared as a playwright associated with the Queen's men. Thomas Decker in his pamphlet, A Knight's Conjuring, referred to Kidd as industrious. He has no university degree. 1587 to 1593, he worked under the Lord of Sussex. Though he had no university degree, he was included in the group of university wits for his writings. During this time, he started writing plays. He wrote Spanish tragedy and then the Pompey the Great, his fair Cornelius tragedy. But in Spanish tragedy, his name was not there. It was published anonymously. But in Pompey the Great, there was Kidd's name. It was a translation of Robert Garnier's. Who was Robert Garnier? French poet and dramatist. Cornel. So Robert Garnier's Cornel was, was trans translated. Kidd dedicated this work to Countess of Sussex. And we will get this point again after some time. There is much speculation that Kidd wrote an early version of Hamlet known as or Hamlet. And it is uh, said that Shakespeare's Hamlet is a direct source of Kidd's or Hamlet. But there is controversy regarding this fact also. Another prose pamphlet that is attributed to Kidd is the Householder's Philosophy. It is based on the story by Turquio Tutasso, who is Turquio Tutasso, an Italian poet of 16th century. So, Keats pamphlet, prose pamphlet, what is the name? The Householder's Philosophy. And it is based on an Italian poet story. Who is he? Turquio Tutasso. Now, apart from this, there are three more anonymous plays attributed to him. Which are they? These three. The rare triumphs of love and fortune, Arden of Feversome, the tragedy of Suleiman and Persida. But it is also, uh, the scholars are not so sure, but these three works are attributed to him. But he is remembered for his most acclaimed work, Kids, Thomas Kidd and Spanish Tragedy. Actually, these two words just get synonymous. The Spanish tragedy, 1587, widely popular. It set a new trend in Elizabethan drama. Blood and revenge theme is popular. It followed the Seneca uh, tradition, Seneca uh, tradition of revenge theme. And who is Seneca? Seneca is a Roman philosopher who believes in stoicism. And he is also at the same time a dramatist. Now, Spanish tragedy, kids major magnum opus over. I have make uh, I have made an, another video on the Spanish tragedy because I feel we must know the storyline and the characters about the Spanish tragedy because it is kids most important work and at the same time not for the kids most important work but at the same time it is the first tragedy. The tradition of tragedy was first accelerated by this. Of course, there is Gorbadok, 
or by sacrifice not on but that was a bit childish not so mature but first mature tragedy we find in a kid's hand and that's why i feel that we, it needs uh, a study month now the last few years of uh, the life of kid was not good he get intertwined with another great uh, dramatist of this time and another university who is christopher marlowe and they were actually roommates they used to share rooms in 1591 they both were roommate and now what happened in 1593 thomas kidd was arrested why for keeping papers that contains heretic elements and writing ballads and pamphlets inciting english workers to riot against the authority okay so these were the charges against kidd and kids was arrested now later feed will be fit but on some condition kid will defend himself that these works are not mine these are marlowe's and all these uh, papers and elements and ballads are all belong to marlowe now marlowe will be summoned to court and but he after some interrogation he will be released but with a promise what is the promise that he will report back delhi with this promise he will be released okay but soon after marlo was killed and after marlo was killed at deftford in a tavern brawl kid was released but before releasing kid denied all his bonds with marlo and proclaimed to the privy council his complete dissociation with marlo even he had to denounce marlo as a cruel heart and greater enemy he had to say this to save himself because marlo is dead and he is on the charge of heresy so he said this and was released but his life was totally ruined this torture mental and physical just ruined his life and also his career during this time of turbulence and agony he published his pompey the great we have already discussed this earlier that he dedicated this to countess of sussex but he dedicated the countess of sussex this work and at the same time he begged for some aid from some help from countess because he do you remember he had, he was working under the lord of sussex though unfortunately the lord under whom he was used to serve could not believe him after he come back from the prison he came back from the prison but lord did not give uh, offered the job he was already working on but just denounce him so he was in utter poverty and so he asked for help from the countess of sussex by dedicating his work to her and again he wrote letters to the other lords of sussex begging for help but no one helped him he got no help from anyone the last phase of his life was totally in darkness he fell into an extreme financial crisis he lived another year in poverty distress and broken health he died at 36 at the age of only 36 he died on 15th august 1594 he was buried in st mary call church london and with this kid's life finish of course it is very tragic that his life ends like that okay